Hey there, Pan friends, and welcome to the channel again. Like always, it's me, your host, Amy from Pandanger, and I am very, very excited to be back with a more unconventional review this time. We will explore carrying solutions and storing solutions for writing instruments. This time, we are going to take a closer look at the latest creation of Leonardo, the Leonardo of China Italiana pen chest for 30 fountain pens. I can safely say that I can relate to almost 99% of you guys that are watching my videos because in this hobby I started as a collector and also I started from owning one pen and uh, now I'm quickly approaching a hundred fountain pens. Over the years I've uh, experimented with a lot of uh, storing solutions and carrying solutions for my collection of writing instruments. Lately I stumbled upon Leonardo and they did something very very awesome. I don't know if you guys are going to remember this but there is a uh, Leonardo pen tray for 10 fountain pens available and uh, it was something that I uh, found to be very very useful. I have one right here with me and I want to show you what I'm talking about. So this is uh, the Leonardo pen tray for 10 fountain pens. And this tray with the outer sleeve was awesome. It was awesome because it's very practical for me. It helps to move pens around in a safe way without uh, getting them to touch each other, uh, scratch or anything like this. But they recently launched a Leonardo pen chest. And this thing arrived in a parcel unannounced to me and I was very, very happy to have such an item for my review table. All I could say is that I've participated in baptizing this creation because uh, um, Salva asked me one day, hey, what do you think about this? How can we name it? And I said, pen chest. Why? Because inside usually it resides a Leonardo fountain pen treasure. So he um, took on that name for this creation and I'm really, really happy to showcase one of these uh, pieces of this Leonardo pen chest, which I think is the 2021 surprise. This is one of the most uh, underpriced um, accessories for this year. Trust me when I say this, if you own more than a few Leonardo pens, you would need to have such a uh, storing solution for your collection of precious writing instruments and not only Leonardo because we can fit inside almost any other fountain pen. Let's proceed and I'm going to show you this amazing creation right here. I hope it fits in uh, all of the camera angles and uh, you can clearly see that we have something that's not that tiny. It is a pen box and uh, I will proceed and I'm going to give you some of the details of this uh, item. I'm going to show you the functionality, all of the features, and also I will show you which pants are going to fit inside. At the end, I will conclude everything into some of my personal opinions regarding this item and I will explain why do I think this is one of the most underrated, underpriced pen accessories that you could have in 2021 and I say this because I don't even know 2022 which surprises are going to be showcased by the guys over at Leonardo. Let's proceed and uh, share a few details regarding the dimensions. So we are um, facing a um, storing solution that is not that mobile. You cannot take this uh, box uh, and throw it in your bag and take it with you. So the proper way to benefit from all of the features is to have this box on your desk at home or at the office and it is awesome because it gives you quick access, it's quite stable, it's not going to go anywhere because it's weighing about two kilos or something like this. It's very nice, it's aesthetic, it's black, it's covered in uh, a very very nice material which imitates the wood fiber. If you take a closer look, I hope uh, the camera picks it, this up. On the box, we have Leonardo Officina Italiana, the wings. Here we have three draws. 
that you can use. Each one contains a tray of 10 fountain pens and right here at the bottom you have a velvety plate which is covered in velvet and you can store your fountain pens and uh, if you are OCD and don't want them to touch a hard surface that maybe produce micro scratches, this will help you a lot. This slides very easy inside. We have this beautiful, beautiful blue color right here and it is awesome. Trust me, it is that amazing. And I do love the pricing of this box and we will get to that later on the video. As you see, we have uh, this uh, very nice metallic buttons which are very easy to operate in order to remove such a tray. You just pull it off by those. This gives access to the three pen trays that house inside 30 fountain pens. Overall, dimensions of uh, such a creation are 30 centimeters like this, 20 centimeters like this, and 12 centimeters height. So it is quite big, if you ask me. But if you put 30 fountain pens, you cannot store them in a proper way and have uh, enough space because uh, this gives you very quick access to all of them. If you were to use three uh, pen, uh, let's say, uh, drawers or something like this, a big cabinet in wood that will be uncomfortable, big, you would need space to store it and stuff like this. And uh, I do believe this is very, very practical and it helped me a lot because I have access to the left of me to all of uh, the Leonardo pens that I own at this moment. It's very easy, it's very quick to access and uh, they are uh, very safely stored inside without them touching each other, the clips, uh, scratching them or anything like this. Now, let me show you the configuration and uh, you will take a closer look at uh, some of my uh, Leonardo pens. So this is how it looks. And we have a few Delta pens, of course, because they do belong in the same family, the Leonardo family. And uh, the trays, I do believe that they are 100% the same with the Leonardo tray that was uh, offered uh, previously this year. We have this button uh, from Metal that helps you to uh, pull it off right here. So overall, this is the box. And uh, it is a very, very nice creation. But now I would like to dive into some of my personal thoughts regarding this item. First of all, let's start with the part that's uh, probably the most interesting. This creation is priced at 75.5 euros Novat. For 75.5 euros, you cannot find anything like this that offers the same practicality, the same aspect quality, it is underpriced in my opinion. And uh, this is something that I'm going to stick with on. I never thought it was that practical until I tried it. I used to store my fountain pens in two kinds of, uh, let's say, creations. One of these pen trays from Breton. Other fountain pens were stored in something like this, which is uh, what I call a pen roll because it uh, occupies a very, very tight space, but every time that I needed a fountain pen, I needed to open this like so, and uh, I would roll it off and check what's inside and pull off. And that took time and not only time, but uh, I do use uh, multiple fountain pens with a different ink color every time when I'm noting. If I need something uh, deducted, I use red, blue, black. I have a way of coding um, my ink colors in what I'm noting every day. So giving access to uh, 30 fountain pens that could be inked at the same time, very easy, it's wonderful. If you are uh, having something like this with a surface that uh, for us at the office we choose white and also we went and uh, have it uh, coated in a sort of a plastic or something like this to avoid staining from ink, I was hesitant to touch my celluloid pens, my um, silver pens on this desk. So that small tray that's going to come off, which is covered in velvet, helps a lot. Again, it's just like uh, jewelry. The pros are a lot. The cons, 
Well, there is only one con and I want to make you aware of this fact because if you are going to have such a uh, item on your desk and you only have 10, 12, 10, 5, I don't know how many Leonardo pants or other pants that are going to fit inside and most uh, likely you will feel the urge to fill the entire box. That's a con, but for me it's not. Maybe, I don't know, maybe for my wallet it's a con, but again, it's pants and I do love them and they are my passion and I truly believe it is a very, very nice item and I'm so, so happy that I have one to show you guys. Now, there is a step that I overlooked and I want to rewind back to that and let me show you the sizes of the fountain pads that you can fit inside. So we have here a few of uh, my Momento Zero Grande fountain pens, and as you can clearly see, they all fit. I want to show you guys how it looks with a Homo sapiens. Maybe this is very, very popular to you. As you can see, it fits. It is a very, very nice fit in regards of size, but do they fit larger fountain pens? And here is where I want to demonstrate. This is my Daniel Trio short Genkai. So it fits both in girth and in length. Let's take a closer look at one of my most lengthy fountain pens that I own at this very moment. So we have my old win classic, and this is the biggest fountain pen in my personal collection at this moment. Let's give it a try so you can see it fits wonderful, both in girth and in length. And it also has like a centimeter left. Anything, any size that you may own, it's going to fit inside this wonderful pen tray. This is a much more shorter and uh, let's say unconventional review. And uh, I want to personally thank you if you spend your time on the Penventure YouTube channel on this video. If you are looking for such a creation, down below you will find the links for it. And uh, at this moment, I think we have like three of them in stock. Well, that's kind of it. This is what I have for the Leonardo pen chest for 30 found pens as a review. This is a little bit more shorter than our usual reviews and I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget that down below, if you scroll, you will find the links for this pen chest, also the links for our website, our social media accounts, email and phone number. If you enjoyed my content, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. This will help me a lot with the algorithm to reach out to many more just like you, which are passionate individuals of our wonderful fountain pen community. I know that many of you that are watching my videos are not subscribed. So if you want to subscribe to the Pen Venture YouTube channel, you can do that right now. Just click here and turn the notification bell on. And if you want to see more quality content from Pen Venture and myself, you have this video right here. Click and enjoy. My name is Amy and I look forward to seeing you next video. Stay safe, take care, bye bye.